invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reeves for Swallow. When Luigi Basco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventure. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia. There's one thing I'm going to notice about the Americans. They're crazy about the sports. In all the newspapers of today, all you can see is the stories about the Yale Bowl, the Rose Bowl, the Captain Bowl. <laughs> Just to think, Mamma Mia, they build all these places especially for people who like to bowl. <laughs> That's a very big thing about the American, Mamma Mia. Always, he's a like to play games. To show you how much people here, they're crazy about their country. They even name a very popular game after a government building. Is it called post office? <laughs> <laughs> you know something, Mamma Mia? In this country, everybody is a play game. Even unemployed people. In Brooklyn, they got a special organization for people who don't want to work. It's called the Brooklyn Bums. <laughs> and right now in America is a big thing. The football season. This football game, it's like a war, only rougher. <laughs> but Mamma Mia, I am wish I could play football. Because in America, that's a shortcut for citizenship. Sure. I'm reading someplace, if you play very good football and you foreigner, they make you all American. <laughs> Even though I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding a lot of things about this football game, someday I'm going to go and see one just like a real American. Well, Mamma Mia, I'm going to finish this letter later. It's getting late and I'm going to go to my night school class. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. Promotion to us. All right, class. Quiet, quiet. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Harwood? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Mr. Schultz? I object. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, why do you object? Because you always call me last. What am I, a stepchild? A black sheep? A rotten herring in the barrel? Mr. Schultz, don't be silly. I call the roll alphabetically. If you were Mr. Basco, you'd be first. And if Mr. Basco were you, he'd be last. That could never be, Miss Spalding. Our clothes don't fit each other. <laughs> Oh, thank you, fellow boobers. Oh, I'm so lovable. All right, class, let's begin our lesson. Now, today we had a geography lesson to prepare, and I hope you've all studied. Mr. Horowitz, can you tell us the area of the United States in square miles? With pleasure. The United States has 2,022,387 square miles. Is that correct? Well, you left out a million square miles. Himmel, Horowitz just chased Texas out of the Union. <laughs> Miss Falding, I would like to clear up the situation. The area of the United States is 3,022,387 square miles. Also, I can inform you that the distance from New York to Chicago is 851 miles, and from Chicago to Los Angeles, 2,175 miles. There he goes, Sweden's answer to the road map. <laughs> oh, please, Mr. Schultz. Mr. Basco, you're rather quiet tonight. Now, suppose you try naming the eight great rivers of the United States. Colorado, 
and the Hudson, the Delaware, the Potomac, Ohio, the Columbia, the Missouri. How much more you want to? <laughs> Two more. You take one, maybe? <laughs> Two more rivers, Mr. Basco. Well, uh, Colorado River. Good. Now, one more. I'll give you a hint. Mrs. Mrs. It's a married? <laughs> Miss Balding, may I step in? If he names that river, I hope he falls in. <laughs> All right, go on, Mr. Olson. There was the Mississippi River. That's very good, Mr. Olson. Now, Mr. Horowitz, can you tell us how many great lakes there are? Five. Mr. Basco, you name them. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> No, no, name them. Oh, name them. Uh, Lake Superior, Lake... Uh... You're on. Huh? You're on. I'm on a what? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, your mind's far away somewhere, I can tell. Now, is something troubling you? Well, Miss Pauling, it is no trouble. I was just thinking about the football. Football? I was thinking of maybe this Saturday, if I'm can afford it, I'm going to see a football game like a real American. Oh, Luigi, what a coincidence. I, I have two tickets to the football game this Saturday, which I can't use. And you can have them. Oh, thank you, Olsen. That's so wonderful. Now I'm going to go see my first football game. Mr. Basco, it's going to be a great game. Notre Dame and Michigan State. Uh, but the, 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 there's one catch, Luigi. Oh. I was supposed to take my niece, Martha. But, but I can't make it, and you will have to take her. How am I going to take your niece, Martha? That's the catch? Yeah, Luigi, but oh, she's real pretty. Yeah, she has beautiful blue eyes, and she weighs about 116 pounds. Luigi, you'll go. That's a catch you don't throw back in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, wait for me. Oh, oh, hello, Schultz. Oh, oh, listen to me. I, I feel like a chicken that's got one cackle left in the coop. <laughs> Luigi, I saw how nervous you got when Olsen was talking about his niece, Martha. So I just wanted to cheer you up. Oh, thanks, Schultz. No, believe me, you've got nothing to worry about. All the American girls, they are alike. It's a sin to make them happy. Just give them what they want. And what they want, Schultz? Everything. <laughs> Ah, Luigi, smile. Don't worry about it. The American girl is not a selfish type. Just give her a yacht, a mean coat, two cars, and a swimming pool, and she'll be perfectly willing to struggle through life with you. <laughs> Mother Schultz, what if I'm not going to give these things to an American girl? So what's wrong with the Czechoslovakian? <laughs> smile, Luigi. You'll make a wonderful impression on Marta. But Schultz... You make me feel much better already. I'm gonna do just like you say. That's right, Luigi. And cheer up. Smile, be like me. Always laughing. My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pascali. Luigi, guess who was it just asking for you? Who? <laughs> I'm going to give you a hint. It's a girl. She's related to me. She's a built a nice and a chubby like you like them, and she's a crazy for you. Can you guess who I'm talking about? <laughs> Her first initial is I. I know, it's a Rosa. Hey, wait, are you supposed to guess? No, but, but please, please, no Rosa talk. Why not? Do you want to be always a bachelor? Luigi, insurance companies of figures show that in a marriage, uh, for every man, is has got to be one a woman. That's the sadistics. <laughs> Well, I ain't the only bachelor in America. As far as the roses are concerned, you are. <laughs> Luigi, what right have you got to act so stubborn? Do you think any other girl is going to go out with you? I'm a thinker, sir. Pasquale, 
See, these are two football tickets. Ah. It's a for this is Saturday. Notre Dame the boys, and they're going to play with the Michigan State, the boys. And I'm taking Olsen's and niece, Marta. Oh, so you ain't even married to my little girl, and already you're committing a bigamy. That's not it. It's not a bigamy. Oh, no? How much is a rose away? 250 pounds. That's not a smaller me. That's a bigamy. <laughs> All right, Luigi, go ahead, learn your lesson. It's about time I let you test yourself. Have your fling, but one thing you got to promise me. What? If this Martha girl, if she's going to disgust it with you, you got to come back to Rosa and settle down in the holy bonds of a deadlock. <laughs> hey, Pastore, you mean a wedlock? When the roses that got to you, is it going to be a headlock? <laughs> Don't you tell me what I mean. Well, it's bargain, Luigi. Oh, my God, the whole thing is a silly. Martha ain't going to be disgusted with him. That's the matter, Luigi. You afraid? All right, the Pasquale. It's a bargain. Good. And now let me see that football pick. All right. Section five, six, six. That's yeah, not too bad. Do you think I'm going to enjoy it? Huh, Pasquale? Well, sure, little banana nose. <laughs> sure, you could have a good time. Look, Luigi, I've been to a lot of football games, so let me give you a little tip. You go into a college football game, so you've got to act like a college man. Uh -huh. Important thing is you got to know how to yell. Let me hear you yell. Hey! Oh! <laughs> oh, no, no. It's a special football yell. For instance, when are you watching the Rams, uh, you yell it like this. <laughs> and when you're watching the Redskins, you go. <laughs> you know, where you're going to be, the people around you is all going to yell, Yay, Michigan. you got to do that too. Now, let me hear you yell, Yay, Michigan. Yay, Michigan. <laughs> so wait, you've got to yell louder. They're going to stick you in the laryngitis section. <laughs> Michigan. Yay, Michigan! Ah, damn, louder, louder! Yay, Michigan! Ah, it's a final, Luigi. All right, then I'll go, go. All right, the best guy in it. Thanks for your advice. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Michigan. <laughs> Wait till he finds out he's a sitting with a Notre Dame section. <laughs> Second act of Luigi Vasco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, it's a Saturday now, and as soon as I gotta go to meet this girl of Martha and take her to my first football game. Mamma Mia, I'm feeling so excited. Just like Mrs. Tarantella's chicken calata is felt when she was introduced to our chicken Giuseppe. <laughs> she's got a so excited, so nervous, so mixed up. For three days, she's laying nothing but a scrambled eggs. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I was a practice in a holler. Yay, a Mexican. When in is it come, Pasquale? Hello, Pasquale. Yay, Luigi. <laughs> Hi to you, Luigi. You sound very good, very good. Oh, thank you, Pasquale. Luigi, we was to make a little bargain before. If Martha was to, to throw you over, you come back to Rosa. Well, I don't want you to get the short end of the deal. What do you mean, Pasquale? Well, I'm wanting you to make a good impression on a Martha, so uh, I'm going to teach you a few things about a football. Oh, thank you, Pasquale. Hey, you know all about the football? Do I know about <laughs> I'm the best player in the neighborhood. Oh. Ask anybody in the block. They can hardly wait for Pasquale to kick off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Luigi, first and the most important thing you got to remember about a football team, Luigi, is a 14 a man on each side. Pasquale, I'm afraid it was only 11. Uh, 11. Well, uh, that's enough to count to the coach and the referee and the water boy. 
Of course, in the Spencer the colleges are like a Harvard. They, they ain't got a water boy. They got a coca boy. <laughs> now, now, listen and learn. The main idea in a football is it to win. If you don't win, that's a call to lose it. Uh, see? Am I talking to too technical a field? <laughs> Let's pause here on KNX. Attention, fans of old-time radio. Call now and get the greatest old-time radio shows of the 20th century as selected by Walter Cronkite at an amazing $20 off the $59.98 catalog price. 60 programs and 20 cassettes are written in audio forward by Walter Cronkite and a booklet with rare photographs and show histories. Order now. 1-800-RADIO-48. That's 1-800-723-4648. Now back to Life with Luigi on KNX. Now, I'm going to explain about the players on the team. A team is like a loaf of bread. On both sides is the ends. And then they got a block, a tackle, a center. And one man, he's a watch everybody like a trustee. He's a called the guard. That's a very interesting, Pasquale. Now, now, what the kinds of players is the quarterbacks, the halfbacks, and the things like that? Oh, you stupid boob. That's no players. Here, I'll explain to you. Say you pay a dollar to see the game. If it's a drizzle, you get a quarterback. If it's a rain of hard, you get a halfback. <laughs> Don't know what's to happen if it's a snow. You stay home and watch the television. <laughs> Oh, Pasquale, you got no idea how much I appreciate what you teach you. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that, Luigi, because what I'm teaching you, you can learn in no place else. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, to show you how fair I'm going to be as regards our little bargain, in America, you've got to dress special for a football game. I'm going to lend you everything you need. Oh, you're so good to me, Pasquale. <laughs> <laughs> now, come along with me, little pumpkin head. Right. I'm going to lend you my raccoon coat, my ukulele, and a little beanie cap filled with a dewy button. <laughs> <laughs> but, Pasquale, you, you think Marta is going to like me and all of this? Like you, Luigi, take my word. She's going to go crazy. <laughs> Sorry, Martha, I'm a keep of forgetting. Oh, everybody keeps looking at us when you yell for Michigan. We're sitting with Notre Dame, so cheer for Notre Dame. But I'm only practicing for Michigan. Oh, yes, you told me. You certainly know a lot about football. Fourteen men. I'm a sorry, Martha. Oh, that Pasquale is really fixing me good. <laughs> Never mind. Luigi, will you get me a pop? A what? I said, will you get me a pop? Oh, poor little girl, you ain't got no father. <laughs> Look, Martha. Oh. Hey, uh, get your head cold soda. Get your sodas here. Oh, one of those, Luigi. Oh, sure, sure. Hey, boy, over here. Wait, wait, wait. Take it up. Did you have any friends? Here, here, Martha. Oh, thank you, Luigi. Everybody's gonna get a psych excited. Come on, I'm not a damn. He's gonna make it. Oh, he made it. He made it, Luigi. Yeah. That's a beautiful home run. <laughs> hey, get your hot dog. Get them while they're hot. Get your hot dog. 
Come on, come on. Here, here, the boy. Two hot dogs, please. Sit down, you can. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Here, here, the boy. Here's my 20 cents, sir. Right. Hey, watch out. Oh, oh I'm sorry, my teeth all over your dress. Sir. Oh, it's, it's all right. It's a little mustard. Wait, wait. I'm going to wipe it off with my... Oops. Oh, oh, Luigi, you spilled the pop all over me. It's all right. I'll buy you another one. <laughs> You've been spilling and dropping things all afternoon. If you only took off that ridiculous raccoon coat and put down that ukulele, you wouldn't be so clumsy. <laughs> You know, like the raccoon coat and the ukulele. Oh, and that ridiculous beanie. Everybody in the stadium keeps staring at us. All right, I'm going to take off the coat and I have to. Sit down and try. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Thompson. Oh, never mind. You'll freeze to death. You might as well wear the coat. Oh, no! It's that Michigan tackle! Oh, get him, somebody! Catch him! Oh, Luigi, catch him! You and I should have catch him. Oh, no. Michigan's ahead now, seven to six, and it's the end of the first half. Oh, this is terrible. Come on, sir. If you want those Notre Dames, you should win, huh? Oh, they must win. I'll just die if they don't. You're going to what, then? I'll just die. Oh, my man, I've got to do something right now. Wait, wait to hear him, Martha. I'm going to run right down. <laughs> Martha, Martha, don't worry. I'm gonna come back. Come back here. Mama Mia, I hope I'm not too late. Excuse me, lady. Here's the least I'm gonna do for her. Excuse me, Mister. Boy, pipe that raccoon coat. Excuse me, please. I hear it is. Please, please, mister, I'm going to to go inside there. I'm uh, sorry, only players allowed inside the locker room. Please, it's a life and a death. I'm going to to speak it to the boys. Life and death? Well, okay. What a fine bunch of football players you guys turned out to be. You, Stanislavski, you carried that ball like it was a horse's neck. <laughs> and Shatakowski, you tackled that guard so gently, I thought you'd both be engaged by the time you hit the ground. <laughs> What's the matter with you babies, anyway? Didn't you get enough sleep last night? Please, uh, maybe they could have used a little nap for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this polar bear? <laughs> He's a raccoon. Please, you boys must have win the game. I'm going to spill the mustard all over her dress and a cup of coffee. Over whose get... dress? Martha, she's the girl I'm brought to here. Here? You mean she's in the showers? <laughs> no, she's uh, she's upstairs. Who the heck am I talking to? Get this sea lion out of here. <laughs> now, let me tell you guys, if you don't snap out of it and hold those punks, you'll see plenty of fireworks tomorrow. You all are mixed up. Tomorrow ain't the 4th of July. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> oh, what a team. What a team. If I only had a quarterback. One quarterback. Or two halves. You want to shoot it or not to get a change from a dollar? I'm going to go right to my... <laughs> Will you shut up? Please. Please, I'm going to want the Notre Dame to shoot a win. Throw him out of here. Sit down and push it. Notre Dame's. Do me a big favor. Please, a win. Out! Mr. Pleaser, you're telling me why they threw me out. All I'm asking them is not that a damn should have win. You were in the Michigan locker room. <laughs> Mama Mia, she's a one away. Hey, Luigi. Pasquale, what are you doing here? Oh, it's a little surprise, Luigi. I'm going to remember you see the numbers, so I thought I'm going to go down here and see the game with you. Nice game, huh, Luigi? Yeah, I would have been if not for you. Hey, Pasquale, was a girl sitting here? You see her sometimes at You mean a pretty little girl in a brown coat, a little green hat with a long feather and a nice blue eye? Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't see her. <laughs> Pasquale, please, stop the joking. Oh, yes. I'm going to see this girl, Luigi. She was a run out of the stadium telling everybody how certain the fellas would make a fool out of her. Well, Luigi, she's a left to you. 
You remember our little bargain with Arosa? Yes, Sir Pasquale. Now, wait a second, Luigi. That's not the fair. We shouldn't think about it as no bargain. as a Rosa. You're right, the Pasquale. Rosa is a no bargain. <laughs> That's a funny thing. And when I'm going to say it, it's a come out of different. <laughs> well, anyway, Luigi, you look like you need a little cheering up. And I've got a just the tonic for you. Rosa! 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 Yes, my little gold post. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. Hello, Luigi. Hello. Hello, Rosa. Oh, come, Luigi. Smile at you bright to be. I remember when I was Luigi, the first... I've been looking all over for come you. Out, oh, I'm so glad you came <sighs> back. When you left before, I realized how terribly I'd acted to you. Will you forgive me? Sure, my... Oh, Luigi, look. She's going for a touchdown. Come on, Notre Dame. Well, Luigi, where's she looking? Hey, Pasquale, maybe you see better if you stand up for here. Right in the front of that the man. All right. Hey, who should throw this a hot dog into my face? I told you this is down the dog! I saw my first football game, and it was a wonderful experience for me. Later, I took a master to a movie. Then we stop off for a coffee and a cake. I'm riding her home in a streetcar, buy her ice cream cone, and from $3, I'm still got a $2.12 and a 12 cents left. <laughs> it was almost midnight when I was standing with her in a hallway. And she just said that. Thank you, Luigi, for a perfect day. It was a perfect for me, too, Marta. Ah, uh, well, good night, Luigi. Good night, too, Marta. Uh, Luigi. Huh? Didn't you forget them? No. No, I'm going to get my trolley transfer into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, silly. Come in. All right. Uh, Luigi, you like my perfume? Oh, it's, it's wonderful. You like to smell my aftershave lotion? <laughs> Luigi, yesterday was my birthday and my friends all kissed me. Uh, you weren't there. Well, I'm not going to wait for 364 days. <laughs> Well, Mamma Mia, I'm a did a pretty good. And I'm a didn't have to buy her a mink coat. You're loving a son of Luigi Basco, little immigrant. same time over most of these stations when Luigi Vasco writes another letter to his Mama Vasco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Vasco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hunts Conry as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Balding, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olson. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. Bob Stevenson speaking. <laughs>